If you'd like to add music to your mix with your Elgato Wave 3 microphone, Honestly, the software makes it easier than any other application that's out there, audio cables, etc. Look how simple it is. Check this out. So the Elgato Wavelink software comes with this microphone for free. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a new channel in your mixer for music. We're going to use Spotify for this, but you can play music back in anything on your computer and route it into Wavelink. Hit the plus button, and then what you're going to do is you're going to choose music as your input here. Okay. Now, what I like to do with my music input is I like to name it whatever the music service is that I'm using. So in my case, it'll be Spotify. You name yours, whatever it's going to be. Helps your brain figure it out. Okay. What you can do with your music before you punch it into your mix is you can select how it's going to be routed. So if you don't want it to go to your headphones, for example, take it off your headphones by clicking here. If you don't want it to go to your stream mix immediately, click this button and it won't go to your stream mix. You decide before you punch in the music and you play the music how it's going to be routed. Got it? Cool. So I have Spotify open and you're definitely going to want to have your particular music application open before you go to the next step. I have mine open and I have it playing music right now. OK, so make sure you have your particular music application open and playing music before you go to the next step. Awesome. So the next step, you're going to have to route the audio in your computer and reach these menus that you see here in your computer to route the audio appropriately. How do you pull up these menus? Easy. Type sound in the search bar here in Windows and you'll go to sound mixer options. OK, once you find that, click it and it'll pull up this audio routing menu that you see over here. So what you're going to do in this audio routing menu, you're already opened your music application. It's already playing music, so it should be recognized by your computer as an input. OK, there it is. Spotify music. The way you're going to route this is you're going to do your input here as the Wavelink music. Remember, that's what we added a moment ago. Music. Awesome. And you're going to have your output be, for most of you guys out there, Wavelink stream. OK, if you do not manually select your input and your output here as music and stream, this music audio could go anywhere on your computer. It could go through your speakers, your headphones, your monitor, all sorts of different crazy places. My clients get really frustrated by the step. So manually select where you want the audio to go. For most of you, it will be Wavelink Music on the top and Wavelink Stream on the bottom. Got it? Now that it is routed, it is now going to go through this particular channel on the mixer when I turn the volume on, and it's going to go through the stream mix, which is where we want it to actually go as our output rather than playing back in some random location. Got it? Cool. So what we do next is I'm just going to unmute the audio here on my Spotify, and hopefully it works. Here we go. Unmute. And there it is. You see how the routing worked appropriately? So as you can see, I've muted this from being in my headphones right here by clicking this button. And so the music is not going into our monitor mix, as you can see. And because we've manually selected Wavelink stream output right here, it is going into our stream output down here at the bottom, our stream mix that everyone else hears. Now, of course, if you wanted to hear the music in your headphones, you would click the headphones button here. And you can adjust the volume levels accordingly on this channel over here as you see fit. So you can change the mix of the music with what everyone else hears versus what you hear manually on this channel using the volume levels on the music channel here. And then you can select whether it is going to be in your monitor mix or your stream mix by clicking the mute buttons down here. Got it? So make sure you follow all of these steps or this music is going to play back in random locations. And sometimes you'll get a double music feedback loop on your computer and it will be terrible and it will be frustrating. So just go step by step and you will have that sweet music exactly the way you want it to be with both mixes on your computer in no time. Good luck and enjoy the music.